Starting in the early 1990s, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development sponsored a residential mobility demonstration, a randomized experiment called Moving to Opportunity. So MTO operated in five U.S. cities, Baltimore, Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York. Uh, women with children living in very disadvantaged public housing uh, neighborhoods were uh, invited to participate in the program. Um, families volunte voluntarily joined and signed up for MTO and then were randomly assigned into different mobility groups. One group was given no residential mobility assistance under MTO and other families were randomly assigned to receive the opportunity to move to less economically disadvantaged neighborhoods using a housing voucher. 10 to 15 years after baseline what we find is that something like 17 percent of the women in the control group uh, are extremely obese and about 20% of the women in the control group have diabetes. The chance to move from a high poverty to a low poverty neighborhood through moving to opportunity reduces the rate of extreme obesity and diabetes for women in the study sample by about one-fifth. Previous uh, researchers have looked at this question of neighborhood effects on health outcomes and have raised four candidate explanations for why neighborhoods might affect obesity and diabetes. One is diet, that is access to healthy foods might vary across neighborhoods. A second type of explanation is opportunities for physical activity might vary across neighborhoods. This could be opportunities for actual exercise, like difference, differential access to parks and gyms. It could also be more mundane things, like just having sidewalks in the neighborhood or neighborhood safety. Some of these neighborhoods that uh, families are living in are just not safe to walk around in. A third kind of explanation that people have focused on is the possibility that access to medical care might vary across communities. And a final sort of explanation is that psychological stress, levels of psychological stress might systematically differ across neighborhoods for reasons like neighborhood safety. Uh, there's growing concern within the medical community that stress might change diet, uh, might change exercise patterns, um, and might affect metabolism. We spend a huge amount on healthcare in the United States every year. I think one of the things that our study raises is the possibility that over the long term, well-targeted interventions at, at improving neighborhood environments might be cost-effective compl complements to medical care in um, reducing obesity and diabetes.